What's up, guys? I appreciate the 500 subscribers. I appreciate everyone who comments, likes, and subscribes. Um, honestly, didn't think I would get to this point. But yeah, now that we're here, uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'm editing a video right now. I did a couple more edits uh, to make it more entertaining for you guys. So, you know, I would appreciate some feedback on that. Uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. What's up, guys? It's Anleek. Uh, and let's, let's just talk about it for a second. You know, I apologize for not, for not posting, you know, in three, four, maybe half a year uh but we don't talk about it right you know the important thing is that i'm back and and we're gonna come back stronger better if you guys want me to uh post weekly or bi-weekly let me know so that you know we can uh, maintain that communication as a community so yeah let's just you know let's get right straight into it right raw footage no editing not like i know how to but but you know let's just talk about it and let's cut let's start off with the elephant in the room right passing btl so BTL one is this exam by security blue team that covers six domains, security fundamentals, phishing analysis, threat intelligence, digital forensics, seem Splunk specifically makes sense. Why I took core user beforehand, right? Oh, I, you know, the one time in my life I make a proper decision. Mm, all right. never mind. <laughs> Incident and response, right? So beautiful, uh, volume and uh you know just a pure amount of uh topics being covered and here in the tools covered we can see a plethora amount of tools right autopsy volatility we have circuit we have ftk imager wireshark all these tools that you're gonna see time and time and again in the industry right so um i passed july 9th so that's about two months ago and um, yeah, I have a vlog here in my Medium. You can find that in my LinkedIn or if you go to Medium at Enleak where I go over a small in overview in my exam experience, some tips and a resource hub uh, where I just link a bunch of try hack me rooms that you know can potentially aid you in the exam. So yeah, without spending too much time on this section, um, yeah, I, I basically, you know, TLDR passed BTL1 and I think you guys should consider that too. Um, what, what happened next and leak? Well, you know, what else have you been up to? Okay. So I passed security plus, um, not needed, but you know, you don't want to be that guy in the table that doesn't know the vocabulary, doesn't know, can't, you know, articulate what you're working on or understand what everyone else is working on because you just don't understand the vocabulary, right? So I didn't want to be that guy personally, you know, personally, I didn't want to be sitting at the table and someone mentioned some, some term. Um, and then I'm be like, huh, never heard of that. So I decided it was uh, relevant and, you know, p potentially beneficial to get security plus. So yeah, completed the security plus all I did to, for this course and this exam was take Jason Dion's, uh, SYO 601 course. Uh, you know, I think it's about, yeah, 21 hours 22 hours bump that boy up to 1.5 speed and just you know take some notes and uh, you should be good um in addition to that you know take his practice test fail the first attempt if you have to and really grind and read out why you got the right um or wrong answer right compare that answer you chose to the other three answers and really understand why you should have uh chose that answer versus the others or why this process was um, relevant versus the others so really understand and if you get into that mentality um you know i'm 100 confident you guys will pass that exam so that's pretty much it for the certifications that i have completed um i also got power user uh splunk power user but we're not going to get too much into that uh um, yeah so let's go back here and um all right well now what else so I also want to reiterate that, you know, those hands-on skills are important. All right, and Lee, what uh, training platforms can I use to, you know, build upon those um, training, you know, those hands-on skills? Boom, let's defend. Let's defend the IO, lets you, you know, it categorizes these topics for you. So you don't even have to like, you know, search on Google for different topics. Oh, you want to get better at networking skills, network analysis, boom. PDF analysis, boom, phishing, boom, got the, everything for you. If you guys are uh, interested in reading a little bit, I also have two uh, blogs on two challenges on Let's Defend right here. You know, if you guys want to read into that. 
Um, and if you guys like a bunch of options, I don't blame you. Uh, we also have BTLO, a bunch of challenges here. They also categorize it by, you know, different domains. And then Cyber Defenders. So we have Cyber Defenders and they have uh, Blue Yard Labs practice. If you, you have Pro and Free. And yeah, they just have a bunch of challenges here for you too. So um, yeah, definitely choose one of them. And I recommend to just get used to the platform, right? Subscribe to one of them, get used to the platform and really hone in on those technical skills, blog it, make a YouTube video and, you know, post it on LinkedIn network and continue grinding that way. Uh, all right. So time skip to what I'm doing now, currently, right? And like, what are you doing now? All right. All right. We know, we know, you know, you've been studying and passing uh, those certs, but like we want to, we want to know what you're doing now right said no one ever right <laughs> all right um <laughs> so i am currently taking the peh now this is the practical network penetration tester by tcm security so um it's a ethical hacking certification that accesses a student's ability to perform an external and internal network penetration test at a professional level right and it goes over a uh, bunch of domains, um, as we can see here. You know, I don't want to show too much. I mean, I think this is public knowledge, right? So networking, setting up your lab, Linux, Python. It goes over information gathering, all that fun stuff, right? Um, I want to work on my, you know, offensive skills. I came from an offensive background, and I failed this exam like twice. You know, we don't really talk about it, but yeah no we do talk about it i'm really open on linkedin I, i've mentioned that i failed and i'm just trying to get this you know trying to work on these offensive skills um, i already have ejpt so it's going to be kind of a, a, a nice transition right nice pivot so that's what i'm working on now in addition to two splunk certifications admin and security admin and you know that's pretty much what i'm focusing on for you know q3 right now right now i think i can knock this all out in october optimally right i'm holding myself accountable you guys can too but optimally this is what i'm completing in october and then for november get into the you know i don't even know to be honest we'll find out as we keep going but yeah i don't want to make this video too uh too long so um yeah thank you guys for for watching this video that's been uh what i've been working on um yeah and to kind of close it off, I just wanted to mention that, you know, continue applying to jobs. You know, every time you get a certification, get some training, a blog, update that resume, continue networking on LinkedIn. And um, yeah, that's very important. I'm going to make a video emphasizing how important it is to network and uh, be social and be active on LinkedIn. So yeah, uh, see you guys in that video. Peace.